Hi, we're here today with Bailey. Hi, my name is Bailey. I am the creator and chief director of this video game. Why did you create this Scratch project? I created this Scratch project to help my classmates and peers study for their magnetism and electricity test. Tell us what's going on. What's happening here? Well, Jordan, my character, is asking what your name is. And it asks you the questions, like, do iron nails stick to magnets? And if you type in the wrong answer, it says no, the correct answer was yes. And as you see, if you type in the right answer, it gives you, increases your score. Well, in asking all these questions, Bailey, that's really cool. But how did you get the game to do that? How did you program the game to do the questions? Well, if you look right inside the top left corner, there are at least eight panels. Control, sensing, operators, variables, motion, looks, sound, and pen. Now, what I started with was sensing. As you can see, there's an ask, what's your name, and wait. I use that to make, to ask the question. And then, I went over to the control panel. And I scrolled down a bit, and I saw if else, so I used that instead of if. And then, I went over to the operator. And I used the equals bar. And then I went over to the sensing bar and used the answer panel. And then on the right side of the green um, shape, I typed in yes, because that was the answer to the question. And then I went back over to the variables and took the change score by one and put it up there if they said yes and I went over to the looks and said say I would say great job for at least three seconds else is if you answered the question wrong it would say nice try but the right answer was yes Great. Besides asking all these questions, what else did you have your game do? Well, if you scroll down, right there, I broadcast ball boss. Let's see what happens. What happens? Well, if you look at what she's saying, you have to use the arrows to move the wire on the left, and U for up, D for down, R for right, and L for left to move the wire on the right. What's the goal here? What are they trying to do? They're trying to get the light bulb light by connecting the wires to the light bulb and the D cell. The wires help the electricity flow through into the light bulb. And you see it, saw it, that it lit. Well, as you can see, there are three ma bar magnets held together as shown. Press the space bar to find out what the choices are. There's A, B, C, and D, D. And what would the correct answer be, Bailey? It would be B, because if you can see, N and S attract, but S and S don't. As my teacher says, opposites attract, and same and same repel. As you can see, she's asking some questions. A bulb and a lamp uses electricity in two. How do you know that they type the right word in, Bailey? Right there. It says, for the next questions, fill in the blank. And it asks it. I did two of those because they might do it with a capital L. So I put light and light. So, Bailey, what kind of feedback did your classmates give you when they played the game? Well, they said that I should have slowed down the scripts because they could barely read them. I'm glad that they said that. Next time when I make another Scratch project, I'll make sure to check on that. And how were their test scores, Bailey? Did they increase? Did they have fun playing the game? Yes, they did have fun playing the game. I was amazed by their test scores. Almost 25 people got A's. 
Yeah, when I looked at the test scores, I think the highest score was 100 and the lowest score was a 73. Do you think other kids in your class would like to learn how to program like this? Yes, a lot of them said that they would like to. What did your teacher think about Scratch? She thinks that it was amazing, and my teacher last year was amazed by my Sri Lanka project. Thanks for joining us today, Bailey. Thanks. I had a fun time being here.